What is up, you guys? This is Jay's World. You already know who I am. My name is Jay. If you're watching for the first time, I appreciate you guys following my journey, uh, watching this video. Uh, basically, this whole video, this whole vlog system, this whole uh, channel is about me changing my life for the better. You know, it's hard. Uh, a lot of people always post their befores and afters. Um, in this video, you're going to be seeing a little bit of the pre prep meals that I pre-create that will help me along my days, along with uh, my body structure, uh, how I look now, before the actual weigh-ins and everything. And then I wanted to talk about something very, 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 very important because it, it, in a lot of situations where a lot of people, big people, big guys, big girls, uh, they want to lose the weight, but certain things that don't, don't allow them to, 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 to lose the weight. Um, as you could tell, if you saw my last video, I did shave my beard. I took it off. Uh, I had a bigger, had a, it was just a long story. Um, I just originally just wanted to see how I'm losing weight. Um, wanted to see this double chin, how it goes away. So I won't be having a beard for the next month or so. I will have like little scruffs, um, only because I don't like to be bare. <sighs> but uh, yeah, and I am losing weight. I have I see the differences in my body from just um, eating properly and working out. However, my videos will get better as they go along with workout videos. Um, my videos will contain the workouts I am doing, the training I am doing, the food I am eating, the calories I am intaking, um, everything from the moment that I wake up to the moment that I do. I just have to get my vlog, my vlog camera um, kind of set up a little bit. I am getting another camera tomorrow, but uh, yeah, just to do that. But let's get into this. I appreciate you guys once again for taking the time to watch this video. I will be trying to do daily video vlogs. Just taking me a little bit to be able to get it. Um, the main topic of this story today is depression. Um, there's a lot of types of depression. Um, there's a lot of uh, scenarios, a lot of things that a lot of people go through. I know, and I just want to touch a little light on it um, just because... It is very important to me. Um, I, I struggle with depression till this day. Um, I am not as in the place where I used to be, but I'm not where I want to be, and it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain why. But um, hopefully, we'll as as we move forward, you guys will understand. In a big guy's perspective, or my perspective, as just me, I speak for myself. I don't know how everybody's uh, dilemmas go, but I've seen this happen in multiple situations. It's hard for us to move in our day to day, day to day. It's hard for us to do day to day tasks. For me, it was uh, getting off my bed. For me, it was uh staying on my feet all day for me it was fitting into certain clothes for me just as simple as sitting on a bus because i used to i do love to use public transportation um but uh it's just simple fact that I, it's hard for me to sit on the bus with somebody on the same seat because they divide it but since i'm a big guy uh either most people just look at you and don't want to sit you so it makes you feel like crap or when they sit on you they they just Cuggle and move around because they can't seem to have enough space because you are a big guy. And most people think that being big is a life choice, but don't understand that being big sometimes is a men mental thing that we want to change, but we don't, we can't because we either don't have a support system or we just really, really don't have the, the mindset to do so, which is hard because if you're always eating, always trying to do the right things. It, it, it just, it, temptation comes into play or somebody telling you, damn Jay, you're fat or damn Jay, I have no room to move around or um, in a relationship as well. It's like, you just crowd me. Uh, most of those things trigger, trigger, uh, for me it was trigger binging. I binged a lot um, and I necessarily don't like to eat a lot of fast food or a lot of chips. You won't, you rarely see me eat chips. Um, like, or candy or anything like that. I'm more of a, like, drinking soda. That was my main thing. 
and eating a lot of food, whether it was healthy food or whatever, but it was a lot uh, a more consumption than, than it was from my calorie intake than, you know, the workouts that I did, but I never worked out. So all the food I was taking in just made me grow bigger. I will show you guys in this bit video right now. You'll pop up. Uh, you will see. I'm going to show you guys a picture of what I used to look like. Um, when I wasn't in the consumption area where I kind of was a little healthier um, which is where my goal is to be back all this wasn't there so um, yeah but depression in my case it hit me hard and I'm talking about so hard that I would wake up in the middle of the night to cry um, there was times where I wanted as much as I wanted not to say that, uh, I couldn't. It's hard to say because it's it's at the point where you just don't want to be here. Sometimes you think sleeping, sleeping it off is 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 the easiest way, not knowing about anybody's the easiest way. And sometimes it's the it's it's the the environment that triggers your your. Your depression or triggers those things that make you depressed and my thing was I wasn't happy where I was at not necessarily where I was living or anything like that just in the position in the life in the place in life where I was at I wasn't happy with it um, I wasn't content I wasn't I was making good money I was making decent money but it just wasn't my life I always felt like I could do much better but for something being lazy which is my own fault, um, mean, um, just being non-prepared for life was, was my thing, and, um, it, it was hard, every night I would sleep, go to sleep late, and fall, but I would fall asleep with tears, watch, listen to music, um, or not having a, a, a like, for me, was not really having a place of my own to be able to call my own, um, not being able to do certain things in my own place was a big factor for me. Um, which is why one of the biggest reasons I moved to, to, to Mexico where I'm at now. Uh, I live in Mexico. I work in San Diego. Um, I'm, I'm moving up. I'm doing my own thing. I'm living to the life that I want to live for now. I can way do better. I have other projects I'm working on, but just leaving and having my own space um, is is way it's healthier for me. Don't get me wrong. I still wake up nights where I'm just like, what the fuck, man, or just nights where I'm just like, damn. In my situation would be sometimes relationships. Like wanting to have a relationship, but you know it's not there because you don't even love yourself in a way. So it was, it's very hard. Um, I'm in a better place now, but it's hard sometimes. Um, it's hard because, like, even though I have support around me in a way, in a way, because I still have family members telling me that, oh, you should do the, 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 the surgery so you can lose the weight. You can do all this and lose the weight. But I know that I can lose it myself. But it's even though I have some sort of support around me, I feel alone. And sometimes I, I feel so alone that it's like the world is so small. It's like I can feel, I fit the world right here. But yet, in my mind... I can grab it and crush it, but it's not the crush that you're like, oh, I'm gonna kill everything I wanna do. It's more like if I if I crush it, I I it's over. Like you know, like my world is over. So it's very care. It's 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 a it's a hard. It's hard to pill swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. And the funniest thing is. I try to maintain the happiness and I try to be smiling and I try to be happy. And I always tell people, I'm good, I'm doing this. I've always uh, said a little, exaggerated what I've done, um, exaggerated certain things because I wasn't happy. Because I felt I wasn't good enough. Because 
the surroundings around me, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be like, damn, Jay or Jesse or whatever you, whatever they call me. Um, they were like, damn, let's go out or call me and all this. But just noticing now that I'm alone out here and really don't have much of those friends factors that does that, it kind of just lets me know like, damn, I was never accepted, you know? I was never, I was never accepting to that society where you're just that first person to think of that, that, uh, that, that's like, oh, we're going to plan a party. I want to invite Jay, you know, or we're going to go out. Let's invite Jay. I knew I wasn't that first person. They want to do that because I never got him. I never got those calls. I never got those messages. I never got my phone. I pay. I always felt sometimes that I pay for my phone for no stupid reason because I never use it. I use it mainly for social media, but I'm not popping like that. So, but it it, it took me being alone to understand, and and me in a lot of days of crying, a lot of days of being in this room, the very room right here. With the lights off, uh, AC running, and just because I like cold feet, cold, cold surroundings. It took that for me, a lot of nights, for me to understand that it's not always about you being accepted. It's not always about you, 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 me, me, me. It's sometimes about you, like me personally, just saying, Jay, I accept me. This person, I accept them. But it's 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 never been that way till now. Um, which is why I'm making change. Which is why I wanted to bring people that kind of feel the same way. Or have a similar experience. Or do these things to follow the, 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 follow the, the path I'm going through. Not necessarily for them. But just to understand and just realize that they can do it themselves as well. You can do it. And it's hard because I want you guys to know that if you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on, on YouTube, and you comment me, most of the time, I'm probably like 100% of the time, I'm going to be messaging you back. Why? Because I feel that there are people out there that don't get that support. I know I didn't. I know I still don't. But the support that I want isn't necessarily from somebody else. I support myself now. So, and it took me a long time for me to understand that the support I always needed was me. The support I always needed was me. And it's hard to understand that because of my whole life, I felt like I needed someone else's support. But it's not. If there's one thing that you guys can take from this today, short story, because uh, uh, I'm going to get into other stuff later, and I don't want to get into too much details. It, it is painful, but and sometimes you just have to realize it. If there's one thing that you could take from this, is that you can do whatever you want to do, as long as you support yourself. But remember, it's a one day at a time thing. It's not overnight. It's not one week. It's not two weeks. It's hard. As you can see in my videos, in the beginning of this, you would have saw me already, my body, and you'll see the meals. It's hard. No flavor, no nothing. But thank you guys for your time. Appreciate your effort. Appreciate your blessings, appreciate your support. Go ahead and comment, subscribe. If you made it this far into the video, subscribe, like the video, post notifications. I'm gonna be doing giveaways as well on stuff that I know. I have a I have a sponsorship coming in soon. Um, be giving those away. Um, but I hope you guys follow the story. I hope you guys follow this channel because you will see a normal person that's been big the majority of his life. make a change in his life and this is also going to include day-to-day -day life things where i go out to the park maybe go out with my friends birthday pre birthday parties or whatever 
but I want you guys to want to follow because as much as I'm changing my life I hope to inspire you I hope to change yours have a good one salute love one another and remember you are your king have a good one you guys